Hello and welcome back to another Guide for Phoenix Point. My name is Saiken and today we're going to take a look at 10 things that I wish I knew before starting Phoenix Point. Without any order, I will go through helpful tips that will make your life easier. Tip number one, the plus and minus on the Geoscape allow for adjustment of time speed. When I started the game, I always had it on full speed and missed a couple of opportunities to micromanage my ships. Just reduce it, specifically if you do a lot of trading on the macro level, that will help you and will be much better with a raising number of aircrafts. Tip number two, having at least one open slot in your aircraft allows you to recruit soldiers in any defend of the Haven missions. I didn't know that at the beginning and was wondering the first time that I received a recruit. Actually, splitting your SWAT into two different uh, aircrafts is a very effective um, measure of not only going there fast in Heliosis, but also having a chance to recruit uh, spare soldiers from the Defend the Haven missions. Tip number three. Control plus mouse wheel allows you to increase or decrease uh, the size of your cone when overwatching. When I first found that out, I was stunned because all of a sudden I was able to hit almost the entirety of the map. Use it, try it and start loving it. Tip number four, willpower uh, reduces the action economy. Uh, if you continue to rush through the game with your soldiers in uh, action after action mission, the fatigue system will kick in and fatigued soldiers unfortunately have only three or even only two action points per turn. That substantially reduces their usability, so uh, do frequent uh, breaks uh, and uh, fill out that willpower again. Tip number five, movement in fire deals additional damage. Understand how fire works. Once you are standing in fire, your armor on the legs will reduce the amount of damage you take with every step, but it does not fully negate it. Running longer through fire, specifically with light armor, is a sure way of getting both of your legs fully blown out, and then you're just sitting there without being able to move at all. Tip number six, you can only modify two out of three body parts of your soldiers unless you're using mods. Additionally, augments, i.e. robotization and mutations are mutually exclusive. Understand that from the get-go, I did not and therefore wasted uh, valuable body parts by jumping onto the first modification that I could get instead of um, thinking through which two of the three body parts I wanted to modify. Tip number seven, production of ammunition always reproduces the entire magazine, even if you only shoot a single shot. Whilst in cheaper magazines that might not be a problem, I can assure you that with grenade launchers it becomes costly quite soon. So once you use a single bullet, make sure that you empty that entire magazine or consider not replacing it at all for the next mission. Tip number eight, switching weapons prior to ending your turn can give you more cover. That specifically holds true if you do have a shield or a shield-like uh, object because you will be covered behind a broader weapon. Weapon hits are not body hits, hence you won't lose hit points. However, the weapon will take structural damage. So if you're willing to take a couple of hits on the weapon for some extra cover, be my guest. Tip number nine, fire, acid, poison and virus all work very differently. Try to understand each of uh, their functioning. Fire is reduced by armor, highly armor targets will take less fire damage. However, uh, fire will be continuous and will spread on the ground. Uh, lighter armor targets take more damage and moving in fire will apply damage to the respective body zones, knocking you out if you're overdoing it. Fire can be well countered by either standing still or getting out of the fire and then healing. Healing, however, will not remove the fire debuff, you're still on fire. 
Acid, on the other hand, will not deal any damage at the beginning, but will only deal damage to the armor. As long as you are acided, armor from all slots will be reduced. That happens until all of the armor is dissolved and then every excess uh, acid damage will become physical hit point damage. Poison uh, ignores armor altogether as long as you deal damage towards uh, that particular target. So heavily armored areas will not even be poisoned to begin with. But once you do have poison, armor will not deduct it and it will happen every single round. Can be healed though um, via mad kits. And finally, viruses, very similar to poison, will bypass armor and reduce the willpower. Um, once your willpower is low, viruses will continue to grind down your willpower and uh, send you into a perpetual state of um, panic. So understand how each of these mechanics work and use them to your advantage. And finally, tip number 10. Uh, War Scream and Overwatch are effective counters against reanimating enemies. Once you are meeting your first reanimating enemy, you will start to hate it. It is absolutely bongus how they can get up, hit four times and almost kill an adjacent unit with certainty. One way of how you can prevent that from happening is using War Scream on the reanimating corpse. That will reduce the, will, uh, the action points of uh, the reanimated uh, enemy for the next uh, turn, uh, giving him only two instead of four turns. The other way of dealing with it is uh, getting the reanimator low and then waiting for Overwatch to finish it. That way you get yourself an entire round uh, worth of actions because they will not immediately reanimate. The third option to deal with it is shooting him down and then letting everybody overwatch. Uh, they are easy pickings if you can deal enough damage to them. So that's it. Those are the 10 things I wish I knew before starting Phoenix Point. Have they been helpful? Have you had any other aha moments whilst playing the game? Let me know in the comments down below. And I give you a bonus 11's tip. If you enjoyed that guide, try to tip uh, the like button in the right direction. See you soon and enjoy your day. Bye bye.